The drive shaft coupler attaches to your tool's upper drive shaft. It secures the lower drive shaft to the tool. Over time, the coupler can wear out. The knob can be broken off, the metal coupler can be stretched, or the alignment holes can be elongated. Replacing the drive shaft coupler is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the lower shaft from the upper. To do that, I'll loosen the clamp knob. Now remove the old coupler. It's held in place with two screws. Quite frankly, these screws can be pretty tight. I'll just loosen the clamp screw and then remove the retaining screw. Now I can install the new coupler. I'll line it with the shaft and reinstall the retaining screw. The retaining screw will also align the coupler with the shaft. And now I'll tighten up the clamping screw. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the lower shaft. And that's how easy it is to install a new drive shaft coupler on your trimmer. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.